Okay, so let's say we're in the key of E flat. Now in the key of E flat, we can do a two, five, one that sounds like this. Two, five, one. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do a chromatic drop two type of movement. And it sounds like this. <laughs> and we're gonna go into this, we're gonna do some. <laughs> we're gonna have a lot of fun in this video. So let me take a moment. A lot of you guys have asked me in the most recent Instagram video that I uploaded, Casey, what are you doing in that video? And I did a, quite a few movements, but that's one of the licks that I did. We're gonna take our time to break that down. So let's listen real quick. It's only like 30 seconds long and we'll listen in. And so you can see how I use that lick in the middle and also at the end of this 30 second clip. All right, so let's jump in. It's Close out with like this. All right, so with that being said and done, we're gonna take some time to break it down. You guys have asked me, Casey, what are you playing? And if you wanna know some of the other licks that I'm doing in that video, give me a comment below. Give me some encouragement. Say, Casey, please break down <laughs> what you were playing in that video. And I promise the next video upload, I'll go through all those different nuances and give you some different 736-251 minor, uh, you know, different type of ways that you can play that progression. So let's jump in real quick. So in that song, you notice I was in the key of E flat and we can do it in any key. This works in just about any key that uh, you choose. So what we're gonna do is, let's look at the left hand first and I'll use my white ring to show you what the left hand does. So for example, if we're in the key of E flat, we can start here, E flat, and we'll do chromatic. We'll just drop down chromatically. So that's called our E flat chromatic scale. Of course, that's descending. So I'll do that again. And then I might go down here. So the way I played it in that, the way, <laughs> I like to say the way I like to sneak it in is I do something like this. So I'll go down here. And then I'll do C again. Keep going. And I'm gonna do F twice then E flat, down to the D, back to a E flat. Let's do that one more time and then we'll do the right hand. So, two times on C, two times on F. Okay, before we go to the right hand, I wanna encourage you guys to subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, that means so much to me. Again, comment below if you want me to break down more of that video. Or if you just want to give me some encouraging words, it means so much to me. I love you guys so much and I don't take your encouragement and your appreciation for granted. I really do appreciate you guys for appreciating me and encouraging me. So uh, that means so much to me. And again, if you want to download um, some other you know, resources, feel free to head over to the website and you can download the PDF so that way you can follow along in this video, all right? So let's talk about this right hand real quick. Okay, so in the right hand, I'm playing a F chord, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna invert up. So this is called an inversion. Remove the bottom note up to the top, and that's called a F major chord first inversion, all right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop this, these two notes here, down a half step. So that turns into a F diminished chord, and that's all that there is to this, all right? And the reason why we call it drop two is because here's F major, invert up, and we're gonna play this note here. So instead of playing this F7 chord, we invert it up with the seven, I'm gonna drop it down here. And so that's why I call it a drop two chord. So this is a F uh, major seven, or just an F7 chord, and and not major seven, because that would be major seven. So this is F7, and we're gonna drop that. All right, so, and you just do this and move this down a half step. So, and that's a diminished chord as well. That's like a D diminished 
seven chord. But anyway, uh, nonetheless, real quick, watch this. That's all you gotta do. Then you go down to the key of E flat, you're gonna play E flat chord. So what did I do there? E flat major, first inversion, and I'm gonna drop the seventh down below. Drop it down a half step. So let's rewind back. Next one. <laughs> and so it sounds like I'm in the E flat. You know what I mean? But I just played that backwards. So the next one we're gonna go down is to the key of D. So here's a D major, and here's the seventh. Drop the seven down. So if you notice, that's that C again. And then drop it down a half step. So let's go through this whole series. All right, so I did it in F. I did it in E flat. I did it in D. The next one we're gonna do it in the key of C. So here's my C major. Here's the C major seven. Drop that seven, um, excuse me, C. I keep saying C major seven. It's a C dominant seven or a C seven chord. All right, so here, drop that down. All right, so we're in the key of C. And then we're gonna go to key of B flat. You kind of get the drift of what we're doing here. And then we're gonna go to the key of A flat. Then we're gonna go to the key of G. So that's that F again. And then we're gonna go to the key of F. And then back to E flat major. All right, I'm gonna play it fast and then we're gonna go again uh, uh, slower. So that way you can follow along, just in case you felt I went too fast. All right, so watch this. So you can do this in any key. If you want, I'll include a bonus video um, going through another key, just in case you need a little bit more reinforcement. And also you have the PDF, uh, free PDF to follow along with as well. So uh, let's do this one more time slowly. That way you completely, and you can clearly hear what I'm doing. You can follow along. All right, we're in the key of F. We're gonna do an F7 chord. All right, and we're gonna drop that down. Now we're gonna to go to the key of E flat. Drop it down. Now we're gonna to go to the key of D, D7. See, because there's my D7. Drop it down a half step. Now we're gonna to go to the key of C, C7. And then we're gonna drop that down a half step. But keep the C A there at the top. Then we're gonna go key of B flat. Drop it down a half step. That's a B, B flat seven. And drop it down a half step. Then we're gonna go to A flat. And this is an A flat seven. Drop it down a half step. And then we're gonna to go to key of G, because we're gonna do the F twice, so stay there. Here's my G seven. Drop it down a half step. And then we have F. Back to F where we started. And then you're back home. And then you can do that nice little pentatonic. Hopefully y'all caught that video from last uh, week that I uploaded. It's actually the pentatonic scale. And so when I ended that, I went to a B flat pentatonic. And then E flat. And then I went to an F. All right, so when I close that out. B flat, E flat, F. All right, so that's all I did. And if I moved too quick there, I broke all that down in the, uh, this video. Uh, I think it's the fast course. I'll put a link here and I'll put a link below, all right? So again, you know I don't like to waste any time. I wanted to jump right into this and you know I never like to close out any video without letting you guys know that I love you and that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you. I can't say it enough, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your thumbs up and the comment. That keeps me motivated, all right? So if I get enough likes and enough comments, uh, for me to break down that video, I'm telling you, I will take the time to break it down for you guys, give you some 736 movements and things like that. So with that being said and done, I love you and I will see you in the next video.